Yo! <laughs> oh, I love it. Hey, I am in the picture. This is what she looked like before and after. But how did we get it to look like this? Let's take it from the top. The windshield cover was made last season. However, it was too short. So I thought I'd take the sewing skills that I just picked up and put it together in order to elongate it a couple of inches to where it would be able to fit the windshield properly. So this is my boat that I had before this one. This was my third boat. It's um, a bay liner, 23 footer. And that was called my escape, right? And then I looked at this one, pacemaker, uh, 1976, 36 foot sport fish. And this is actually a picture from the ad before I purchased the boat, I'm like, you know what? I want that boat. If I bought it, this is what I would do to it. Tint out the windows, paint the, the hull a dark color. Probably, I don't know, I was thinking that time, either dark blue or black. I haven't painted the hull yet. But slowly it's coming together. Now this, pic this picture I did before I purchased the boat about, I don't know, seven years ago, six years ago, something like that. And uh, it's starting to come together now. So as you can see, my windows are tinted. In addition to that, I'm putting on the front cur curtain right now. It used to be white, but now I'm doing black. I, I made these curtains from um, house curtains, custom fit them to fit the boat. They came out pretty good. They're also, they black out too. They're, they're pretty thick material. So you get a lot of privacy and you get some insulation there too. So now we're gonna work on the snaps for the front cover that I've been working on. This back cover, my uh, cousin's mother-in-law made it for me. Mommy Yemi. Thank you, Mommy Yemi. You did a good job. It was the one that was on here before. The stitching was old. It was coming apart. And that material was that hard vinyl material. Over the years, it just starts to crack. So in the last episode on this project, we did that part. But notice the base of it. No snaps. So I'm going to put snaps on the base of it today. So this is what I bought on Amazon, a tool to make the buttons. It's pretty cool. I am not sponsored. This is just what I bought. So there is, the disclosure is, there is no disclosure. I'm not sponsored. Check this out. It's pretty cool. Put it in the light so you can see it. Punch the hole, put the snaps on, clip, clip, put the fabric. I think we can figure it out. And then these are stainless steel marine grade because i'm not sure if this one's marine grade i think it's supposed to be but anyway high quality i don't know we'll see how it looks so there's the underbelly those are the strips i was putting together i did this part right here mommy yummy had done the other part for me um last season i just never put it on because it was short so now with the new extension it reaches the studs and then i reused for the top part i reused the inside of the old vinyl just cut it out because these snaps fit perfectly so fits perfectly with the old snaps buttons are hidden now we're going to put buttons on the front i couldn't reuse the bottom one because it didn't from shrinkage it didn't match properly so we're going to match these buttons here there's no sense in putting new holes so, wow, perfect right there. Wow. Look at that. Mommy Yummy snap would have been, was perfect. It looked like it was short the whole time. No, some spots it was short because the button's right here. The old one's here. This is the new strips we put on. So it'll be good. That's what it's looking like so far. Not done yet. But man, it's already making a difference. Check it out, son. Talking, let's get to the job. Let's get it done. I get the sun's rising behind me. There's only so much daylight. The early bird gets the worm. The early worker gets the project done. Let's do this. All right. 
I marked the spot that I'm gonna punch the hole in with the chalk. So now I'm gonna use the tool, punch the hole whoop, right through there. All right, hole is punched. Let's see how it came out. Hey, would you look at that? Pretty cool. That's just chalk, so it just comes right off. Now let's grab a snap. So let's see, this is the base. This is gonna go through that little hole and the receiver. It's gonna be this guy, if I can get him out of the package. There you go. So it's gonna go like this. That through the hole. This through the top and then pop it in. Word. Oh, 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 almost lost her in the water. See, Matt? Here's the base where this piece will sit. This piece right here will sit in there. So it's gonna, it's magnetized. Boom. And then we'll take this one. If we don't lose it in the salt water, it'll punch through the hole. It'll sit in that seat. And that one will go up top and then I'll close them in on each other. Dun, 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 dun. I need a cameraman. I put that through the little hole. See if you can get a good view. There it is. And this end is now gonna sit right there like so. And then we're gonna use the tool to squeeze it. Bam. Wow. Let's pop it right in. Let's see if she will snap. Oh shoot, it snapped. It's got like 20 more to go. I really like how easy it was to put these snaps on there. I don't know why I was so hesitant before. So we got the hole punched. And put the stud through the hole. Line up the other end. Tool on there. It's a little tricky trying to go upside down. lined up and then squeeze and the button's on. 15 more to go. What do you think about that? Looks pretty good I think. It snaps on the bottom and the sides in. Before I did that very last one, the uh, right when I did that last one, I dropped the magnet. Boom, right in there. You're always losing something in the water. It's like the, the endless bilge. Always losing a tool in the bilge or screw or nut in the bilge. Or things just fall down. It's just, it's gonna be 70 today. We're gonna go on a bike ride, do a little hike and enjoy the day and take the boat out for a spin after. They say it's just like riding a bike. Once you pick it up, you don't forget it. I got together with some friends from the Outdoor Adventures Group from Ambassadors Church. We went down through Warwick City Park. They have nice paved walking trails that you can also ride bikes on. What a great time we had. Although my legs and my glutes were a little bit sore the next day. Here we go, this is what it's all about. Solitude on the move. 2023. I'm still surprised there's still quite a bit of boats on the water. I guess some people are waiting till after Memorial Day, maybe. Yeah. It's a nice sailboat. It's a nice sportfish. That one looks good. 
looks like a little a pacemaker too. That looks like a pacemaker too right there. Tenacious. Some people fueling up. I like to wait till a few people have already taken some of the gas from last year before I put fresh fuel in mine. Let the, let the fuel docks get new fuel before I put them in my tank. There's another one. Pacemaker sister. She's running good, she's running good. Look at that one. Beautiful. Look at those outriggers. Woo! It's nice. That guy's not on time. This one made it on time. We made it. The, the beach where I launch my sunfish from. Sunfish and my uh, day sailor launch it right from here. Public boat ramp. Right out into the bay. Aye, 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 Captain, whatever you said. Sights and sounds. It's nice after a winter hiatus to come by and see some familiar sights and sounds. Coming out through the channel. A few sailboats out. Not many boats in the water yet though. Right down there is Newport, Jamestown, Quonset Air Force Base, the ocean, Atlantic Ocean. Straight across, or is it Portugal straight across? I don't know. Country Club. Just taking a few friends out for a nice leisurely cruise. It's lovely, it's beautiful. Can't complain, can't complain. We're feeling blessed today. It's running nice. I was gonna go pump out, uh, pump out the head, but the pump out hose was missing in the adapter. There was power to the hose, but there was no connection piece that the pot that sits right in uh, uh, around the outlet is missing. So maybe they just haven't installed it yet. I don't know, I'll have to ask the marina about that. But here we are. We're good. Don't worry, holding tank is nowhere near full. A lot of space there. <laughs> so when we head back, we're going to put the, um, the boat bow to the dock. So my stern will be facing out, facing the channel. How do you like docking? Do you prefer having your stern to so that when you're up on the dock you can just walk into the back of the boat or do you like your do you like your stern to be facing out so you have a view? Let me know how you like it. The sailboat I usually keep it bow too because it's just easier to pull in and out. It's an outboard and a lot of times I'm just sculling when I'm coming in. But on this boat, I I prefer to have stern out. In the beginning of the season and the end of the season, I usually have stern in, mainly security reasons. The end of the season, there's more sun towards the stern of the boat too, so you get more uh, more sunshine, more heat, because the, the the sun sets um, on the dock side. So that also has a play in it. How do you like your boat position? My youngest son Carlos, and my good friend Toto, getting the lines ready to dock. Came out pretty good. I gotta bring my new fenders in from the house. Look at that. Nati, how did the boat project come out? Did you like it? Did you approve? Do you approve of the boat project? Oh, good. I'm glad you like it. I'm so glad you like it. Thank you for watching another episode of Solitude and Sailing. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Take care.